What's going on, YouTube? Uh, it's Miguel back on 100. I want to show you how to get the homebrew channel for the Wii. Uh, so yeah, here we go with the first step. Go to Wii Options. Uh, this is going to be uh, using the website Letterbomb. Uh, no video games required. You're going to go to Wii Settings. And then... You're going to go to internet, and then you're going to go to console information. Now, console information will give you your MAC address. Now, I'm not going to show you my MAC address, so, uh, but when you click on console information, it shall give you your MAC address, and um, you should probably write that MAC address down on a piece of paper, okay? So... You'll have to write that uh, down on a piece of paper. You're at the computer. Now, I will give you a link to this website in the description. But uh, here is Letterbomb. Alright, uh, so this is one. You're going to write down your MAC address. Type it in. I'm just going to type in random things, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, that's what you're going to do. You're going to type in your MAC address. And then you're going to press... Um, well, I press cut the red wire, so you guys can cut the red wire. But also, you're going to need to type in these words, and then cut the red wire. Alright, I'm back again. Um, So, when you cut the red wire, I just didn't want to show my MAC address. When you cut the red wire, you're going to find the letter bomb. Now, uh, letter bomb, you're just going to find that, okay? Alright, I forgot to mention, of course, you are going to need an SD card. Um... So you just, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it should be 2 gigabytes or less in order for it to work. I'm sure you can do it uh, higher, but it works easier, more easily, with 2 gigabytes or lower. Now, there I have nothing in my SD card. Now, we're going to type in the letter bomb, the thing that we just downloaded. Okay. We're going to click on it, and then you should see these, um... These files in that uh, in that uh, in letterbomb folder. Now you can just drag. You must. You should drag every single one of the files. What the heck? Okay. You should drag every single one of the files to your SD card. Private. Mary. Alright, so now we should have the same thing in there, which we do, just it's out of order and stuff. Alright, now, that's all it is. Alright, so now that we have all those in our folder, we can exit. I got our SD card, I'm going to take our SD out of the computer, and we're going to go back to the Wii. Alright, YouTube. We're back to the Wii. And, uh, now make sure that you put your SD card back into the Wii at this point. Alright? So, hopefully you've followed everything that I've done so far. Alright. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on the Wii message board. Alright, you're going to go to Yesterday's History. And then you're going to find this. Okay, it's a letter bomb. And don't worry, this is the hacking. Click on it. There we go. Alright, now, here, we're, it's just loading. Alright, you're going to wait for a minute, and uh, you're going to end up pressing 1, as you will see. So yeah, you must remember to put it on yesterday's history, that works. Oh, and you will find the red letter with the bomb, the SD card. So you just have to wait for a bit, and then you end up pressing 1. Takes a little while. There we go. Okay, what you're gonna do is press continue, and then you're gonna do install the homebrew channel. Alright, you're gonna go up and press A. Alright, yes, continue. It's gonna be installing the homebrew channel. Alright, it's a success. Continue. Now you can't install a boot me, I'm not, it's optional. Alright, now exit. You're gonna exit. Alright should take you back. Alright, 
here, here this is. If you have this problem when it's just showing bubbles, I will just I will now show you how to solve it um, right now. All right, here I am back at the computer. Now I just went to a homebrew browser website. The link will also be in the description for that. Now, um, it's downloaded, and you're gonna click on your SD card. Make sure it's back into the computer, and you're gonna look up homebrew browser, which should be the um. the heck Umbro. all right you're gonna click on that and you're gonna click on homebrew browser v o I'm gonna show you one more time see or v o two whichever one all right now you will see these three now, really, um, none of them, uh, the only one that really matters in those are, is this one, the homebrew browser. Now, first what you're going to do is you're going to open a new folder in your SD card. You're going to name, hold on, uh, there. And you're going to name that folder apps, just like that, okay? There we go. Now you're going to go back to the homebrew browser. Bring that over there. You're going to drag it into apps. Alright. You're going to open apps and you're going to find the homebrew browser in there. Okay. And then it'll have those things. Alright. And now close it out. Bring no name. Or SD card to trash. Ugh. Not to trash. Come on. You're gonna drag it to the trash and inject it, and we're going back to the Wii. Okay, YouTube, we're back in the Wii. We're back to the Wii. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. All right, yeah, make sure to put your SD card back into the Wii. And now, this is what happened when you click back on your homebrew channel. Now, there should be homebrew browser app right inside your homebrew channel. There you go. Just by adding the homebrew browser into your apps, that's what you do. You click on it, and then you can go to utilities, and then that's how you get all the apps and there you have it that's how you get the homebrew channel thanks for watching